Hey guys, welcome back. It's amazing to see that you made it to the final video. I know you're pretty bored by now, but we'll learn a few important concepts in this video. So bear with me for the one last time. It's time to study some advanced topics in Git and GitHub. But before that, let's revise a few things. So by now, you know how to create a new project locally, uh, see the changes that you've made locally, make a few changes to your project, create a GitHub account, uh, push to a GitHub repository, make changes to an open source repository. Now let's understand a few advanced topics. The first one being branches. So what are branches in GitHub? Let's say you're working on your shapes project in GitHub and you created two commits in it. This is what your project looks like from a design perspective. Now let's say you want to convert it to this. So you need to add a triangle and an outline to your project to create the final figure. Come to think of it, you're actually working on two features simultaneously making the outline and creating the triangle. And it might happen that sometime you're working on one feature and sometime you're working on the other one. So the process becomes complicated. Here we introduce branches. You could branch out two new branches from your original branch, one for each of the feature that you're working on. Let's call it the outline branch and the triangle branch. Now when you're working on the outline feature, you make commits to the first branch. Let's say you were able to complete half of the work and now you want to move on to the other feature. You can simply check out to the triangle branch and make the changes over there. Now let's say you have finished working on the triangle. You can merge these changes into your master branch. Now you can move back to the outline branch whenever you feel like. You can complete the work over there and merge those changes into the master branch once the work is complete. Git takes care of all the merging of the code and lets you know if there are conflicts. So the idea of branches is to allow separation of concerns on features. If there is a feature you think will take some time to work on, you can keep working on it in a branch and simultaneously work on your master branch for other things that require immediate attention. As usual, let's get down to some coding to understand this better. So let's make a fresh project. We create a new folder by the name of new project and we move our terminal to that folder. The first thing whenever you're creating a new project is you need to run the git init command. Now we're just trying to create an initial structure for our project. So we create a circle.txt file and add some code into it. This can be correspondingly seen as the purple colored circle that we had initially in the example that we, we've seen earlier. Now we make our first commit and if you do a git log we can see that we have one commit in our project. Now we need to work on two new features, right? One is adding the outline and the other is adding the triangle. We introduce a new command over here, the git checkout command and the dash b parameter means that you're creating a new branch. Now you can see we have created a new branch circle dash changes. If we run git branch, it will show you that you have two branches, the master branch that we started from and the circle dash changes branch that we've just created. Now let's add outline to the circle, but not complete. Let's say we've worked on half of our feature. If we do a git diff, we can see that we've worked on half. And now after making the commit, we think that this feature might take some time. And so we want to move on to the triangle feature. So now we move from here back to the master branch. And from the master branch, we check out a new branch. We will not check out a branch from the circle dash changes branch because that will have the changes that we just made as well. We want to check out a new branch from the master branch where we have the initial state of our project, which is just the circle. So as you can see, we've created a new branch by the name of triangle changes. Now let's create a triangle.txt file and make all the changes that we want to over here. Now since we've completed everything over here, after adding the triangle file and committing our changes, we can merge this file into the master branch, right? As you can see, we have two commits now, the initial commit that we had in our master branch and the new commit that we just added. To merge, first you need to go to the branch that you want to merge into. This is the master branch which just has one commit for now. And we want to merge the triangle changes branch into the master branch and the command that we use for this is git merge if you type a git merge triangle dash changes 
our triangle branch gets merged into the master branch. So as you can see, the second change is reflected over here now. It's always a good idea to delete branches if you're sure you're not going to be using it again. Now let's move back to our circle changes branch. In this branch, we have two commits for now and half of our work is done. We need to complete all of the work and then merge this branch into master. So let's say we completed the work that we wanted to do. We'll do a git add and git commit as usual. And you can see we have three commits in this branch now. We move back to the master branch where we want to merge these changes. We run the git merge circle dash changes branch and it asks us what is the commit message that you want to associate with this merge. You can simply exit vim or whatever text editor it opens for you and you can see that we have added two new changes along with the merge change. And if we open up circle.txt file or our triangle.txt file we can see the changes reflected. As mentioned earlier, it's always a good idea to delete a branch and you can use the dash d parameter for doing that. Now we just have the master branch with all the changes that we required. So that ends our lecture series on Git and GitHub. If you have any question or any feedback for us, do let us know in the comment section and I hope to see you in some other video.